now standing in front of the model of the uh, Littoral Combat Ship Frigate, which is in the progress of uh, design. Uh, this ship is intended for the Royal Malaysian Navy, and uh, we are now working uh, on the uh, letter of award, a letter of acceptance from the uh, Ministry of Defence, and uh, we are closing in on the contract. The ship will be constructed entirely in Malaysia. Uh, it is a program for six ships. Uh, it is a full flash frigate. Uh, we will build uh, all six ships in uh, our Boston Naval Shipyard in Lumut. The platform system will be built in Lumut and the combat system will be constructed and integrated in uh, Cyberjaya before being brought over to Lumut for the final integration to the ship and for the testing and uh, the trials for acceptance. Uh, the ship is now at uh, 111 meter length and uh, with a displacement of approximately 3,000 tons. Uh, the ship has a maximum uh, uh, speed at full power of uh, 28 knots and uh, it has capability for uh, surface to air and surface to surface missiles. Uh, it will have the capability for four-dimensional warfare, anti-air, anti-surface, uh, anti-subsurface, as well as uh, electronic warfare. Uh, as uh, just uh, yesterday, we signed the LOA, uh, awarding the work to supply the medium caliber gun to uh, BAE system buffers, which is uh, going to come with a 57 millimeter Mark III uh, with Telf Cupola. So uh, the staff requirement or the signature requirement for this vessel is very stringent uh, that uh, it will have reduced signatures in all aspects of the ship uh, signature or ship uh, characteristic. As you could see from the model, they, they, the, the, the ships will have the medium caliber gun, it will have the, the, of course the fire control system and the surveillance radar inside the dome. It will have the RHIB. The ship is uh, designed to be capable for the EC-75 helicopter, which is now or which has entered service in the Royal Malaysian Air Force. The ship will probably have uh, or come with the uh, unmanned aerial vehicle system. The government has uh, decided through the LOA for the combat management system to be CETIS from DCNS and. Uh, the fire control system will be from Rhine Metal. The engines now we are talking about the MTU engines and uh, the, all the other equipment are uh, still in negotiation stage and we uh, we cannot reveal uh, who they are yet. We are working with uh, DCNS of France to uh, design the ship and to become the design authority as well as for other aspects of transfer of technology to uh, strengthen us in the ship construction as well as the supply chain management. The CNS will act as our design authority for the program uh, in which they will help us with the design. We are buying their services for the uh, basic design which is ongoing in France right now and uh, we have our Malaysian engineers and naval architects involved in the, in the design work, uh, working together with them as part of the transfer technology program. And uh, eventually, uh, the Malaysian designers and architects will come back and undertake the detailed design of the ship. In addition to that, we are also getting assistance uh, from DCNS to strengthen us in the in managing a large and complex program like this where two aspects of the ship, the platform system and combat system integration will later have to take place when the ship converges to become one uh, engineering system. The program now is at basic design stage where we are going through the design loop and uh, iterating on all the uh, ship parameters and then uh, on the supply chain, we are at the uh, final stage of negotiation with, with few major equipment suppliers. 
and at the same time we are looking for all the other second tier and third tier equipment to be fitted on board the ship. Uh, the delivery of the first of class is estimated uh, to be end of 2018 or early 2019, pending the signing of the contract.